Hello and welcome to the Play Well Cup. My name is James. And I'm Jason. And we are back for 2013 StarCraft matches for all. Hey uh, Yes! It's good to be back. Very good to be back. And we have the very first game of the year here. We have the Fire Monkeys versus Ron in Film. And mm -hmm. on the right hand side here, we have Nerd Nina playing as the Pink Zerg. Down the bottom for Fire Monkeys, we also have Mars Spider playing as the Blue Terran. And then if we shift across to the top left, uh, we've got Cool Bomb playing as the Green Zerg for Ronan Film. And then down the bottom left, we have his teammate uh, CG Jobo, or Jobo perhaps, uh, playing as the Yellow Terran. Now we should also mention as well, uh, it's sort of early days with the new patch update, and um, we are trying out for the first time the shared replay feature, which is very, very cool indeed. It means we can yep. actually do some casts over Skype. Which very we're handy. Doing for the first time. On the downside, though, we have learned this afternoon that there is a bug currently active in the replay system where you get to see all of the observer chat. <laughs> So, yeah, have fun with that. There's, so, there's a lot of interesting philosophical things discussed. Yeah, I feel like uh, the Observer Chat is always, a, you know, a very deep and interesting place. Mm -hmm. But it's also madness. <laughs> Mostly madness. Mostly madness. Anarchy and chaos. That's right. But um, I'm also um, controlling this replay, which I think is a Play World Cup first. Uh huh. Normally, you are our very capable, um, what do you call it? Observer slash driver. controller driver, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, apologies if I'm all over the map here at the moment, but um, four players are normally just random crazy chaos anyway. And yeah. that's actually something I wanted to chat about too. We've switched back to our two v two format for this tournament, mm. which um, I've I always enjoyed. Um, season two, we tried a sort of a one v one team format, um, and that was great. But um, these ones just have so much fun and craziness going on. Yeah, and there's and a lot less pressure and a lot less stress, I think, when you've got a teammate. So, like, if you, you know, stuff something up horribly, you can hopefully rely on your teammate to try and save you from, from the jaws of death. Exactly. So, um, we've flipped back to this particular format for our 2013 tournament. And I think it's great. Like, this first week of matches has been fantastic mm. already. Great fun. Great games. Excellent. So, at the moment, we're seeing uh, Mars Spider put up the wall on the right-hand side. He's got mm -hmm. double barracks and a handful of supply depots as well. He's also going for reactors on one of those barracks. Um, and in the meantime, we've got CG Jobo completely walled off now in his little kind of corner of the map here. Yeah, and this that will protect him from those lings that Nina's got down below. That's right. Nina has sent out four lings that are just sort of prowling around down the bottom there. Um, that, I guess that's one of the differences that you can see straight away here. Um, Fire Monkeys, formerly Fire Mint, um, in our tournament, uh, have been at this for quite a while now. So they're very um, team savvy. You can see with Mars Spider particularly walling off this, that gives them instant kind of wall off with two extra bases and patches yeah. of minerals to uh, go from. So that's just, I think, a bit of pro, pro team play coming to the fore there. Um, yeah, I do like on this map trying to trying to defend the low ground from the very beginning. So exactly for that reason, so that both teams can get a nice early safe expansion. Mm -hmm. and, and that that is exactly what Mars is now beginning to do. That's right. He's all over this at the moment. Extra command center going up, um, and he's looking very safe. Even though he's not completely walled off at this stage, he still looks very very safe to me at this yep. at this stage of the game. Not a lot of pressure coming in. CG Jobo has a handful of troops as well. He's got Marauders and a few Marines, but... Um, no factory or anything of the sort yet. No, nothing like that. Coolbum's playing very safe as well. He's got two um, spine crawlers at his base. Um, he got quite an early Roach Warren up, actually, as well, and a few Roaches now coming out. So he's very safe in his little corner of the map at the moment. Yeah, no one's doing anything too crazy. Nina's still using those lings just to scout out those expansions, trying to stop them from coming up. But, Speaking um, of which, she's got a few of her own too. Yeah. Um, we forgot to mention at the start of the game as well, this is actually match three in the series. So, um, you know, a lot of pressure coming into it. Both teams want to win. No one want to do anything too crazy. Nope, nope, you're absolutely right. 
This is um, the deciding match for the very first week. Yep. Looks like we've got Nina now throwing down an expansion as well. But Scantipede in the way. <laughs> we won't block this hatch, but what does happen? Does the scan... Oh, I just ran out of the ran way. Ran out of the road. Bah! Shh. Good fella. What a Helping wuss. out where he can. <laughs> Looks like Nerd Nita is going to send an Overlord into uh, CG Jobo's base as well. Do a little bit of um, seven minute, eight minute scouting with that. That's always a good move just to try and suss out where your opponent's going in terms of tech and build. Are they going mech? Are they going bio? What are they going to do? Oh, it turned around at the last second. I think it saw the Marine and the SCV, so they thought, better run for safety. <laughs> That's good enough for me. And Jobo is, I think, really scared of a uh, like a Baneling bust because he's reinforcing that wall. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff going on up the front there. A lot of supply depots happening. And Coolbum uh, made a bit of an advance towards Nina and Mars Spider with his five roaches, but is now returning those home. Nina now enthusiastically attacking <laughs> those retreating roaches. I don't know. She might she might end up getting that last roach if they don't turn around and attack. Possibly. How are we doing for life here? Oh, he is nearly dead. Uh, One roach micro, two HP, and he's oh, going to get away. Very nice. That was pretty good micro. Yep. Nice, very nice. Spine crawler's also moving up to the ramp, so I'm hoping um, that Ronan film expands soon, because otherwise he's going to fall behind, because Mars has got his base up and running, as does Nina, so they need to make something happen so they don't fall too far behind. Yep, you're absolutely right there. Um, both... Both Fire Monkeys now doing a great job of expanding out. Mm -hmm. Have workers coming down. Um, so yeah, they're just looking very, very safe at the moment. Um, everyone's getting a few tech upgrades as well. I can see Coolbum has plus one on the way of missile attacks. Yep. Um, Nina has Burrow and the Roach speed upgrade on the way as well. Um, also seeing from CG Jobo, the Siege Tank upgrade is just about to finish, so... He'll have tanks in short order. He's already got one out on the field. Now he'll be able to siege those up. Yeah, that might make him feel a little bit safer about moving down to that low ground. Yeah, he can... He's got some he, uh, siege tanks there defending him. Absolutely. He can pull this pull this force down there, set them up, and it looks like his marines are already down there sort of suff sussing out the situation. <laughs> yep. In the meantime, Coolbum has already dropped his expansion as well. Damn Scantipede. <laughs> he didn't get in the way there either. There's Scantipedes all over this map. <laughs> Weird. I saw just before Jobo uh, threw down a scan in the the bottom base for Nina and Spider just to see whether they'd expanded. So uh -huh. very well aware now that they're a little bit behind yep, so in terms gonna, of expansions anyway. They're going to have to do some economy catch up here it seems like. Although uh, I have also just noticed uh, running down in the middle of uh, Fire Monkey's base is Coolbum has got... Um, <laughs> and he just blocked the starport. He's got a... Changeling Marine running around doing a little bit of scouting. Oh, nice one. Yeah, I can see the Overlord. Uh, where is that Changeling? Time He's to... now up in Mars's base. Ah, time Just to... running around, getting a good scout off. Time... Ah, there he is. I found him. There's Just that hanging out. Sucker. <laughs> no, that's cool. So he, yeah, definitely well aware that... Um... Oh, and he even spotted some Vikings as well, which is good intel for them. Yep, although <laughs> I think those Vikings, yeah... They, oh yeah, they found that overseer. <laughs> they know all about <laughs> those Vikings now. In the and meantime, though, we've got wow, we've even got more supply depots going up. This is a this is a massive wall of supply depots now by CG Jobo. Yeah, he is really worried about a Baneling bust. <laughs> we've got the um, the command center for him going down now as well. So it looks like that expansion is going up, but uh, the fire monkeys army is kind of getting a little bit scary now we've got some um, nerd nina with plus one missile attacks also with burrow and the what do you call that like moving burrow upgrade yep moving while underground though meantime uh cool bum has actually got out some mutalisks and is now raging through nina's base uh overcomes mars spider to defend <sighs> with some vikings though but uh, a little bit of mining time disruption there yeah is he gonna he... have enough vikings though he needs to move the rest of his vikings across to defend this there we go. Yeah, looks like well and truly getting chased off now. And Nina responding there by dropping a Spore Crawler as well. So she's got two others in her base. That'll be a total yeah. of three. So I think she'll be pretty safe after this. Yeah, unless, uh, unless Cool Bum goes, goes crazy with the Muta production. 
He's uh, also got... Let me just do a quick little scan here. He's got two Evo Chambers. He's getting plus one melee attacks now. Uh, what else have we got? We got a Spire. Some Roaches. Yeah, some Roaches. So it looks like Roach, kind of Roach uh, Muta from Cool Bum. And it looks mm. like Nina's running across the middle of the map now. The uh, Cool Bum's Mutalisks have spotted them, so that's probably good. They're now returning home because... That's a lot of roaches, although with the Planetary Fortress, Siege Tanks, and the Marauders, I actually think um, Jobo would have would have easily held those off. Yeah, he probably would have defended, but he, they really need to move out together at this point with yeah. the um, roaches being undefended against those Mutalisks. So even though they're not going to do a ton of damage very quickly, they are going to be able to pick that army away slowly, bit by bit. Yep. So they're going to have to pull off a bit of a collaborative attack here. Either that or Nina's going to need to grab either Hydras or possibly Mutalisks of her own. Although she does have an Infestation Pit out already, so maybe Infestors is the way to go here. Or are we teching up? No, okay, so we haven't got a Hive yet. But maybe we're going to go straight to Tier 3, but something, something's happening. We've actually got... Cool bum is just about to finish his Nidus network, so we might be seeing some backdoor play here. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. What? There. What? I had to laugh. <laughs> uh, these mutalists are dancing around down the bottom as well, trying to find a, a hole in um, Mars Spider's vulnerabilities base. Mm -hmm. that, that and if they head straight sense. up, they're going to find that vulnerability. Yep. Um, although, looks like Nina is going to move out again here, try and make a play down the middle. Ooh, she's okay. going to go sneaky star. Borrowing. Yeah, no, that's actually a pretty good move. I don't think there is a lot of detection around here. I mean, there's an absolute ton of spine crawlers, but no spore crawlers that I can see. So I, I really don't think there is any detection here at all. So she will definitely be able to make a run here. She's going to get the element of surprise. Although up the top right, we see Cool Bum has also got his overseer. I'm assuming he's going to be dropping that Nidus network sometime soon. And there uh, it is. There it goes. Yep. So now this this will be interesting. Although Mars Mars has still got his units back home, so Mars might be able to uh, take care of the Nidus network. Oh, but... it's all happening at the same time here. <laughs> Mutalists have moved into Mars Spider's base. Nina comes out and is attacking the front here and the oh, Nidus God. network at the same time. So there are there is just crazy stuff Three happening different battles all going over on. the place. The Mutalists Looks... are getting cleaned up by the Vikings, I think, so that battle is going to be over, but uh, Nina's base is getting somewhat overrun with a lot of lings. Yeah, it looks like this is really where it's happening at the moment. A lot of drones dying at the moment there. She got cleaned up at the front here. She did not have enough roaches against those marauders. She's no. now attacking this Nidus. The Nidus is down, but these lings are still doing tons and tons of damage. They oh, are plus one on the attack. Us. There we go. Is Mars Spider going to do this before the Hive goes down? There's a lot of Lings there. Is this Hive going to stand? It I think. Like... Yeah, I think that's. It's going to be safe yeah, for now. It will. It will. And Joe, I th actually thought Jobo was going to come across the map and, and sort of start attacking from the front. And oh, maybe he is. Yeah, it looks like there's back, a but... line of um, two. Two. Oh, we've got. Yeah, it's a dual attack here. But it looks like he's turning around. Oh, he's turning around again. <laughs> He's decided to not decide to not definitely not attack. Or the opposite. <laughs> one of definitely. I, one I'm of not those sure two. what the opposite is, but it's it's one of those things. Yeah, I lost it about halfway through. Yeah. <laughs> he and might I, actually I, do a drop here. Um he's hanging around on this edge. Is he gonna do a like kind of a bit of elevator medevac play uh, here? I see what you mean. Possibly. So with the siege tanks, that could actually be quite an effective way to go. Or he... Nope. Looks like he's going to try and just draw them into the fire. And he has. That's exactly what he is doing. Now, that is a really good position for Ronan Film to be in and a really bad one for Fire Monkeys to be in. Yeah, this angle with these siege tanks is just going to be all the difference. And they're just getting slaughtered at this yeah. point. Not yeah, good at all. Was a lot more even un until they walked into that siege line. That is that is unfortunate for the fire monkeys very much so and now they are very short on supply as well we've got mars spider 54 over 142 and nina 56 over 116 yep Cloak not Banshee's doing trying enough. to uh to salvage some of it but a quick scan from jobo goes down and, and that was the end of the banshees yeah i don't think there's really too much they can do there's plenty of scans in hand for um cg jobo so i don't think they're going to be able to do too much on a cloak detection-y type 
play nah. here. Late. Oh, there's, there is a Banshee <laughs> doing a little bit of damage here. They're hanging in there by the skin of their teeth. Though that misrallied Roach has gone down very quickly. <laughs> and there is nothing in Nina's base to protect her from this <laughs> from this incoming onslaught. She's doing what I love to do as well, which is go, Oh crap, I have no defenses. Lots of spine crawlers right now. <laughs> and hopefully they finish. Yep. Normally they don't. And this is no exception. Looks like uh, CG Jobo targeting down the infestation pit. That falls very quickly. Evo Chambers yep. going down now as well. Uh, there's really not much left in the way of army. Nerd Nina actually has got up those spine crawlers now, but the hive is down. Yeah, another Evo that, Chamber those down. Those tanks are up on that that high ground as well. They can just siege and uh, blow those spine crawlers to pieces safely from a distance. Yep, you're absolutely right. And so much critical infrastructure now by Nerd Nina is down. I don't think there's really much at all she can build. Actually, I can tell. And this is this might be a new patch thing, but I can tell what she can build. And right now it is drones and overlords, and that yep. is all. Oh no. <laughs> Neither of those things are going to stop those marines and marauders and tanks. Nope, no chance there. So, it's pretty Mars much all Spider on Mars. putting a last ditch effort in here. <laughs> he does have this banshee, although it just did go down then. I think it just ran out of energy on the cloak, and so that's all she wrote there. Yep, a whole heap of sad Vikings and medevacs. Not able to help. Nope, the Vikings do land for that last ditch effort, but they're <laughs> going to get ripped to bits. And. GG's go up. Looks GGs. like Running Film are going to take this game out. Scans mm -hmm. going off. Final Vikings in the air. Unless Looks there like... may be a twist. This might be directed by M. Night Shamalamalamalan. <laughs> and we might be seeing some sort of uh, tactical nuke go off. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it could be tricky. Oh, no. And that is a game. That is it. So, good game. Running Film take this one out. Uh, two to one. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's three points for them. One point for Fire Monkeys Team One. Yep. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Catch it.